Welcome to The Menu. And The Wine List. With Jeff Weisler. Beverly McKenzie. We've ordered food. What have we ordered? I think we just ordered this bouillon paste and it's... What's in it? it? Well, this is a classic bouillon paste in the sense that it's not just a bunch of seafood and broth. What they do also here, what Chef Chad does here at Chateaulain is he serves it with grilled romaine hearts that kind of are not underneath, but they're off to the side. And they also have um, French bread that's some baguette in there. So we have not just the lobster claw and clams and mussels and halibut mm. and the saffron white wine broth, but we also have some romaine that's grilled, has some char flavor, and some grilled bread. I am officially hungry. So you're hungry. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. <laughs> so I think classically people would gravitate towards white wine with this dish with a shellfish. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think we could get away with a white, I mean, yeah. sorry, with a red. But I think it might be more interesting if we get a fun white. I agree. I, I think a white with some pizzazz and a little bit of zing and some zest and a nice, you know, not the lightest white, a little bit of texture to go in there with the bouillon bays okay. and all the fish in the bouillon bays. And that char flavor. And that char flavor to accent with that would be great. Do you want a whole so, bottle? Or you think we, you, want you know, I'm more in the mood. I just want a glass tonight. Yeah. You know, and how about I, a half? How about a half bottle? That would be perfect because that would be nice get idea. a great glass of wine. Great. For just, and not spend too much money, but be satisfied. So let's see what we have for let's, half bottles in the white department. Great. Uh, let's see. There's a... There's a Sauvignon Blanc from Sancerre, no. too dry and grassy. No. There's the, a Pinot Gris from Alsace. I, it's an 05, it probably has some residual sugar, but it might not have the playfulness. What, what about the Robert Sinsky Pinot Blanc? I think that would be a great that choice. That is perfect, because that also has some That's, minerality to go with the shellfish. Sure, okay. okay. Let's do we, that, we'll get We're gonna order that. <laughs> okay. I love Robert Sinsky. Biodynamic farming, uh, great biodiversity in their vineyards. Uh, sheep, they're known actually for having sheep in their vineyards, among other things, um, which I, I think really a adds a lot. Wow, <laughs> yeah. the nose on this is fantastic. I love the beautiful label, too. You know, something just, when the label's that pretty, the script and stuff on the way it's done, it gives it a real handcrafted feel right out of the yeah. gate. And did that, this have a, that I love. Did you, does this also have a glass closure? It did. Okay. It has the uh, Vino Seal, which is, right. which is a glass closure. It's not like a cork or a synthetic screw cap. It's an actual piece of glass that's in there with a, with, um, with a closure to hold it in place. Mm, so I'm getting multiple layers here. I'm getting tropical fruit, well, but there's some herbaceousness that's not too green. It's really ripe, fresh field flowers. Mm -hmm. what, what are you getting in there? I'm getting great nose. I'm, I'm getting the overall feel of, the, of being invited in. It's, yeah. just, it, it's just exciting. It feels like I'm listening to good music. You know, there's the, the flavors on the nose and then the aroma are really coming out to get me. And I think that'll be a great accent in the Bouillabaisse. I think you're absolutely right. I think right. we made a, I think we made a good choice. It'll be fun to see how this comes out. accent each and every one of the different shellfish that are in that dish mm. differently and uniquely. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It tastes like a potpourri. Mm. The wine tastes like a potpourri. It has so many different flavors and elements going on there that I think it really um, offers um, something that that wants some friends to come play with it. It's like saying, "Play with me." It is. It's a little. It's a little playful. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be interesting to have it held in that soup then all these different fishes, all these different flavors, um, to really work with the wine and, and, and see how that comes out. I like. I also like the weight of this. It's. Um, mm -hmm. It's even though it's Pinot Blanc. Pinot Blanc can be that kind of in between wine. Sometimes it can be light and dry like Pinot Gris, and sometimes mm -hmm. it can be more heavy like Chardonnay. Here we don't really have heavy oak treatment. It's a nice medium-bodied weight, which is perfect mm -hmm. for our dish because that char on the mm -hmm. romaine adds weight to this dish, which mm -hmm. I think will be intriguing. Mm -hmm. Are we ready to eat? I'm so I ready. Think. This has me hungry. Awesome. I can't get over how this one's changing as we have it open. Mm -hmm. Oh, look! Ah! Chad, that looks fabulous. Thanks, Chad. For the shows. Great. Awesome. awesome. That? Thank so you so much. much. We have the grilled romaine. Yeah. Which is actually, there's some underneath all this. And there's, I forgot, we didn't discuss the fennel salad oh. on top, which is going to add to the aromatics of this vino. This is one of just a small group of wines that I would actually choose to go with fennel. So amazing yeah. that we chose this. Amen. Let's see how that goes. This smells incredible. It's like I can I mean, do smell both <laughs> at the same time. It's like, do we have to eat this? Because I could just smell this all day. Oh yeah, I think, I think that's all it requires at this point. Rock and roll, go for it. Mm, so I have this nice lingering, I almost, it could be suggestion, but uh -huh. I feel like I have fennel lingering on my palate now. Uh -huh. It could be that combination of the fennel uh, olfactory uh -huh. and what we're picking up in the wine. Awesome. Oh, and we got some tomato, I forgot about the tomato. And then we have, we have this little rouille, which is kind of like, it's similar to an aioli, but it's French. And I'm mm. going in, so you, I'm going to try mm. it with some halibut. Mm. 
and I just tried it with a mussel. Okay, mm -hmm. which is sometimes very tough to pair it with wine because mm -hmm. of its high metallic, mm -hmm. although it, they should not have a metallic flavor, they should be sweet and um, elegant. And the incredible savory deliciousness of the broth mm -hmm. and, and the fennel, which I just tried with it also, so. The halibut's just perfectly fluffy. Because so, sometimes when it's braised in a liquid, it can mm. make it tough, but this mm. is not the case. What's wonderful here is this particular dish brings out the texture in the wine. Yeah. So where we Ooh. had that orchestra of all these different flavors before, trying the wine on its own, now once you try all these different flavors that are in this dish, what it does is it gives this wine this beautiful texture like an umbrella. So the texture of the wine actually becomes wider. Wider and silky. And silky, actually, with, with this dish. So really beautiful how that, how that changes it. Mm. Awesome. So this is a great example of when you have a dish that has multiple things going on, it has um, charred flavors, it has light um, herbaceous flavors, has acid from tomatoes, and yet sweet shellfish, you need to have a wine that can interplay with it. So either maybe mm -hmm. even a funky Riesling that has some good mm -hmm. acidity could be mm -hmm. fun to play with this. One or that's not too sweet. One that's not so too it, sweet. So a drier a sugar, style sugar. Riesling. A drier mm -hmm. style Riesling mm -hmm. could be fun. Or just something that has multiple layers of flavor, good acidity to match the tomato. Mm -hmm. And I think when you have a wine like this that's so full of all kinds of fun different flavors, you really want to have a dish that has a lot of diversity of flavor in it and those things will come together. Absolutely. So, cheers. We will see you again for the wine and food experience where great relationships are discovered at a restaurant near you. That was good. <laughs>